And this is the Montre Black. Today we're gonna react to Korra reincarnates into Death Battle. Let's watch. Episode sponsored by Shin Megami Tensei 5. Shin Megami Tensei 5 is the newest installment to the acclaimed JRPG series developed by Atlas. Play as a high school student who gets transported from modern day Tokyo to a post apocalyptic world. Explore this demon infested wasteland filled with mythical deities and demonic tyrants at war with each other. Shin Megami Tensei 5 is out now! Check out the digital deluxe and standard editions on the Nintendo eShop or by clicking the link in the description. Predecessor, the hot headed, obstinate Korra was an avatar prodigy from day one. I'm the avatar! You gotta deal with it! While Aang struggled to accept his role in the world, Korra never wanted to be anything else. Not only is she an expert hand to hand fighter on her own, as a bender, Korra can manipulate the natural world around her through martial arts. And as the avatar, she is the only living being who can bend all four elements at once water, earth, fire, air. That you! Straight from the Southern Water Tribe, Korra can control tendrils of water, form massive walls of ice, and generate huge tsunamis. Aang once raised the sea level to put out these huge fires. Looking at the size of the area and what did it take to submerge it, he had to move over 35 million metric tons of water. And since Korra is a reincarnation of Aang and every past avatar, she should be just as powerful. With earthbending, Korra can heave big-ass boulders around, shape and control metal, and even tear apart the ground beneath her enemy's feet. Kinda like when her avatar ancestor Kiyoshi broke up a chunk of a continent, dragged it across a bay, and basically just created a new island, named after herself, Queen Shit. By measuring the size of the island to get its mass, and the size of the bay to get the distance Kiyoshi dragged it, displacing this much rock would require an energy over 21 gigatons of TNT. That's almost 15 times more energy than the entire world's nuclear arsenal detonating at the same time. With firebending, Korra can fire blasts of, well, fire, jet into the sky like a rocket, or breathe like a friggin' dragon! The perfect element to match Korra's hot-headed temper. However, her final element was completely different. Due to its inherently zen, free-flowing nature, Korra struggled, at first, to master airbending. I did too. That in the Ryman Hypothesis. Well, until I saw your PowerPoint presentation, Wiz. That was a fun afternoon. Wait, you know airbending? Straight from the Guru Lahima himself! I can fly! Whee! Well, while I fix some of Boomstick's broken bones, come back in a few days as we cover Korra's opponent, the X-Men leader, Storm. Yeah, I love my balls! If you like the video, give a thumbs up. I'll see you on my next reaction. This is the Montreux Black. Peace.